Hi Aries, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. It's going to be one of their true intentions in love, Aries. It's going to be a reading for you and your person. So these are general readings, so please feel free to switch the characters and the energies back and forth. It could be a vice versa or a reversed reading. Yeah, it could be. So let's see what we have. We're going to see how you guys are seeing yourselves first, right? It's really important, right? Kind of like reminds me when you're a kid, and, right? In, uh, when you're really little and they you know they say draw a picture of yourself right <laughs> and you're like uh, I feel like it was a psychological case study what do you guys think right yeah okay so these schools are nuts I hope your kids are going to a good school because uh, they're teaching them some stuff you know, so we're not going to talk about that today a little bit of a damper let's see what we got though let's see what we got for Aries and their person and uh, we're going to be using different decks here today, uh, one for you and one for them. Yeah, isn't that fair? Sounds like more little kid stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. Be fair now. Uh, what is it called? Sharing is caring. <laughs> That's what my little granddaughter said one day when she took all the pistachios. And I said, can I have some? She said, no, they're mine. So I took them back, and then she said, sharing is caring. <laughs> Let's get into it. So Aries, you're seeing yourself as, let's see what we got. You're seeing yourself as the chariot. And your person is seeing themselves as the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is kind of a sad card. Yeah. So let's have a look here. This is the Cosmo deck. This is always a little bit different. I'm kind of learning with you guys, if you don't mind, on this particular deck. No, not in the tarot. God, no. But this deck is different. And this guy, I feel like this guy's really great, this, uh, this artist who is... Uh, writer or author, I should say, is, you know, he passed away now. Underneath a canopy of stars, a man in his chariot pulled up by two fast horses. So, you know, that's how it always is, right? But this is triumph. It's always triumph as well. Mm -hmm. Mental and physical balance. Very cool. So, you know, mental and physical balance is a triumph, isn't it? Right? I mean, you could be really strong, but, uh, you're not, you know, following your intuition, you're not following your logic, you're not, you know, you're not using your brain, really, uh, you know, we need both mental and physical balance, right, commitment, yeah, wow, cool, Dyna dynamic, mm -hmm. examination, hard work, obstacles, and failure, okay, so that is kind of in the reverse, you know, the failure, right, because this is about winning, so I feel like, you know, this could be clearly about triumph, it could be about commitment, though, it could, right, so let's see what else we have, you're seeing yourself this way, Aries. Mm -hmm. Maybe mental and physical balance. Your your person is seeing themselves, I feel like, in not such a great light. This is the Four of Cups, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe their situation doesn't have to be them, like, you know, forever and ever. No, we don't have to kind of deal with this, with these energies forever. No, we don't. The Four of Cups, a young man beside a lotus flower pond. Yeah, the lotus flower was the... Uh, I feel like it grows uh, na naturally or wild, I should say, maybe in Indonesia. But it's all about in intuition uh, or, you know, uh, inspiration, I feel like. And it could be healing, too, but it really has to do with tapping into your intuition. It's very cool. And uh, let's see what it says here. It says exuberance, really, yeah, uncertain feelings weariness, decaying joy. Okay, exuberance is the opposite, right? Exuberance is when you're kind of bright and you have energy. Uh, this guy kind of really doesn't look like that, but he could be, you know, uh, what's the word? He could possibly be just meditating here, sort of. Uh, uncertain feelings, weariness, decaying joy, refusal, insight, reflection, new possibilities, anticipation. So, you know, your person is definitely thinking here. Uh, they're totally in their uh, reflection for sure, mm, maybe some uncertain feelings, but let's get into the reading right now and find out. The bottom of the deck for your person, Aries, is going to be the Three of Cups. bottom of the deck for you is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, maybe you have a brand new beginning uh, with somebody, and maybe your person's not feeling good about it. And let's see here, and your current energy is a Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what we got. So, uh, you know, you look like you're fearing the Ten of Pentacles here or doubting it, right? Maybe you are uh, kind of, you could be in a, in a family dynamic possibly. This could also be 
uh, speaking to uh, finances, right? The Ten of Pentacles. Let's look at your person's energy, the Nine of Pentacles. To me, this looks like a breakup here, and you could have some triumph right here, right? Maybe even a commitment, but I don't feel like it's with this person here, Four of Cups. I feel like you're, you're leaving your person. They're in the Nine of Pentacles energy, or they're leaving you, or it's over. We don't, it doesn't matter who's leaving who, right? It's kind of like, you know, like when you're a kid and they go, we don't care who started the fight. We're like, what? This person's a bully. I mean, it's, it's really important. I mean, isn't that the most important thing? They started it. No, you're both in trouble. <laughs> you're like, what the hell? <laughs> so let's see what we got. And, uh, yeah, I feel like your person here, they look like they're all single, right, Aries? Yeah, single and, you know, uh, focused on their own situation, maybe their own finances. And the nine of, uh, the queen of cups is here, rather. And the queen of cups is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, your person could be fearing something about you, Aries, with the, with the Knight of Wands. So let's look at your cards first and see what we got. And the challenge for you is uh, this Seven of Swords reversed, maybe uh, some past manipulation or, you know, the Seven of Swords in the reverse is a few things, but you could feel embarrassed maybe by a situation. Let's find out here before we kind of jump the gun. Because it does depend on kind of the other cards. Nine of Wands showing up, right? Kind of how they all work together. This is the Wounded Warrior here with the Seven of Cups and the Lovers. I feel like you're making some choice with the Seven of Pentacles, Cups, and the Lovers. You're making a choice right now. You're not, you're not sure how it's going to work out for you. You could be concerned, like, yeah, you could be concerned. It could be, you know, kind of a maybe a make it or break it or a triumph or a disaster that's what the chariot card is in this deck right uh, but it's in the upright so this is really good and you have the knight of swords and the six of cups reversed you look like you want to return to somebody here you look like you're making a choice to return to somebody from the past six of cups reversed and uh, the page of swords you're thinking all about it you could have already made this tough choice here and now you're just thinking all about it uh, you could have made the decision. Now you're thinking about actually taking action. The temperance card is in the root here. This could be uh, Sagittarius. You're going back and forth about, uh, you know, about this right now. This is why it's all happening. Yeah, you're definitely in reflection mode for sure. And this temperance card reversed, you know, maybe you need balance in a situation. Uh, and this is what you're, maybe you are thinking, I wonder if I'm going to have balance and harmony and you know, healing. The Queen of Pentacles, this is about a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You look like you made up your mind to return to somebody from the past, and you don't know how it's going to go. Yeah. Queen of Swords is what you want. And the Page of Wands. Yeah, you want to know all, this is all about you, like, being in your head, Aries, and wanting to know, or very curious, right, discerning, reflecting, dwelling, Maybe you are even investigating over here a page of swords, like spying maybe, or, you know, looking for, looking for clues, you know, maybe if this person you are choosing to return to, if they're seeing somebody else possibly, everybody does that stuff, it's uh, natural, I feel like if nobody really kind of did that, then, you know, shame on you, right, if you have any doubts, of course not if you have any doubts or if you know somebody really well, but if you're returning to somebody from the past, uh, right, of course you're going to want to know if they're seeing somebody. So we find out on social media. See what else we got. Sometimes we find out that way. Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, you're. I feel like you are uh, discerning here. You want to know if you walk a new path with them, if they're going to, like, make an effort with you, if they're going to really kind of work with you and, you know, dedicate themselves to you. And, you know, this could be maybe about work here. It's a possibility here. You know, this might be a little bit different here. This I feel like this is about a union, but it's possible this is about work and money, maybe, because you kind of have a lot of pentacles here, right, a little bit all together. We have one, two, three, four, and they're all, they're all like sitting close here. And your fear here is the ten of, or your doubt, is the ten of pentacles and the star card. Yeah, I feel like you're you're fearing here somebody's going to heal the situation with you. Or somebody's going to like, yeah, I feel like that's it. Mm -hmm. And the Seven of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles is your challenge. So, you know, right now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles 
and we have the Queen of Cups down here. This looks like third party to me. For some people, it's not even a lover. For some people, it's like meddling, you know, meddling uh, in-laws, siblings, grown kids, just stuff like that, right? Exes. Sometimes it's that, you know, it is, right? Sometimes it's hard for me to see if it is that or a lover. But your challenge here, you know, could be justice, and or it is, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. It's possible you're married to somebody, right? Here's the Ten of Pentacles right here, and here's justice. You could be maybe embarrassed to return to somebody or maybe to, you know, embarrassed in front of them because maybe you were married before. OMG. You could have been married to somebody and now maybe they didn't believe you. They're like, oh no, I can't have a relationship with you. You're married to, you know, uh, Rosa. So, you know, uh, and I can't do that, right? It could be. you. That could be the case here, right, for sure. And, uh, yeah, because that's your challenge. And the Ten of Pentacles is here. Let's get another card. You might have been sneaky with somebody in the past that you want to return to. Or manipulative or just something that wasn't, you know, kind of cool. Maybe you were just secretive. Sometimes, you know, why is that justice card there? And so, and therefore, somebody doesn't trust you. Because the Seven of Swords in the reverse for me can easily indicate, here's the sneaky guy. It's in the reverse, right? It, sometimes it might not even be somebody, anybody really doing anything. It could be just a lack of trust because of, you know, just doubts or something like that, right? Could be the Hermit card. Wow. This is your challenge. And the Ten of Wands. You're carrying a burden here. You're soul searching. I feel like you, you, you kind of feel somebody doesn't, this person from the past doesn't trust you. That's kind of how it looks here. All right. Let's look at your person's energy. The Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups is their second card. It's the same card as yours for the second card. But you're the wounded warrior. Like, oh, what's going to happen next? And they are like, they're in this single energy. Mm -hmm. This looks like, and that's what I mean about a marriage. Because the Nine of Pentacles is a single card. And there's challenges here. It looks like a breakup. I said that when I came in. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, you know, if it is not a breakup, it is uh, a definite rethinking of a union for sure. I mean, that's the minimum, I would say, on a light, you know, on a, in a light, kind of a, in a light way, so to speak. And the King of Pentacles is here now, and we he's already in your challenge, Aries, and this is your person. Uh, they could be confused, maybe, if you are becoming single because of an earth sign. Maybe they are an earth sign. And the Five of Cups is reversed. I feel like they're confused. They think you're going to have a new beginning with somebody, and this is the reason why they're single, possibly. The Lover's card is reversed. See, this is like a breakup. Five of Cups reversed is typically a new beginning. I feel like, or they think things are coming to an end, like a sad ending here, because of you, have, you having options. Yeah, the Magician reversed. That's you, Aries. They got you in the reverse, right? How dare they, right? Yeah, that's what happens when you have psychic powers, right, you guys? Yeah, you just put people in the reverse, right? I mean, in your head, you can turn them into lizards and frogs and, you know, and alleyway rats if you want. <laughs> but, you know, uh, let's see who we have for the Queen of the Cups. And so if you guys are cross-watching, then, you know, welcome. <laughs> and I always have fun here, you guys, so don't take it. Don't take, these are general readings, right? Don't take it wrong. To, if you ever got a private reading, I wouldn't be laughing at you, trust me. So the Queen of Pentacles is reversed, right? This is an earth sign again. We already have the Queen, the King. Yeah, we have the Queen twice and the King twice. So there's definitely an earth sign here. I feel like this is the person you want to return to. Could be the person you, you want to leave as well. But here's the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles together. And they don't look like they're getting along. One's in the reverse, right? Queen of Cups already looks like she has. she's mad. Yes, she does. And, you know, I don't really know why. She's pretty and she's rich, right? <laughs> but the point about it is that uh, maybe she has a bad husband, the king, right? Who knows? Uh, but, you know, this Queen of Pentacles next to, I feel like there's an argument right here. The Ace of Swords. I feel, I feel like your person has clarity here, major clarity, like the truth that you, uh, because these are two different people, and these are not you, Aries. You're the King of Wands. And the Eight of Cups, yeah, they have the truth, you're leaving. Or they're leaving because you're having victory, either one. We kind of have to put both on the table. Three of Cups because of a third party or a reunion, either one. 
Uh, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, maybe you weren't seeing this person, Aries. Maybe you just, maybe that you just kind of like thought in your head, you know what? It's time for me to return to so-and-so. I really love so-and-so, right? You could have, right? Sometimes we do that. You know, we think about somebody from the past and we go, that was really the right person. I mean, these things happen in life. Yeah, they do. And, uh, you know, they can be both a miracle and uh, a tragedy, depending on, you know, what side of the sword, you know, somebody's on or which side of the heart, right, kind of. And we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles reversed, and this is why it's all happening. So there could be a Sagittarius here because here's Temperance and here's the Wheel of Fortune. But we already have an Earth sign and a Water sign, OMG. This could be, you know, somebody with these energies in their chart. It could be. But the Wheel is in the upright, and this is the reason why... This is for your person, you know, I mean, this is a good card for them in, in the reason, sort of, but I feel like it's uh, about you, right? I feel like the wheel is turning and these are faded changes. I feel like you feel like this person, the Six of Cups person for you, Aries, is somebody faded and your person might think that too. Because if we think our person's going back to somebody from the past, right, then we think, well, you know, we might, you know, reflect on... Or conclude, kind of, or, you know, or just analyze. We might just be thinking that it's faded. Why are they going back to somebody from their past? OMG, right? And Five of Pentacles reversed. For them, they think you're letting somebody in. Right? Yeah, and it's this person from the past. The Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, they think you are, like, you're available now for somebody else. And before, you were committed to them. Yeah, you have a commitment up here. You're seeing yourself as in a triumph here, but like regarding a commitment here, but you're not so sure here. Yeah, you're not, you're going back and forth here, either about the person you're leaving. I feel like it just has to do with kind of both, but mostly about the person you want to be with, but kind of about the situation that you're leaving behind. You're mostly focused on this new person that you want to be with, I believe, this person, not new, this person from the past. And what you want, uh, what they want is a Three of Pentacles. And the King of Swords reversed. So, you know, they want this energy here or this situation. I feel like they want you to change your mind here. Uh, King of Swords reversed, like you kind of reverse your decision, right, to work on things with them. That's what I feel like. And I feel like also they could just be feeling, you know, in their desire, sometimes just their energy. We can't always fit their desire, you know, exactly right here. It just could be their energy here where they feel like a decision has kind of been made against them. The King of Swords reversed. The Six of Cups again, right? And rem remember, this is a new deck. But I'm just saying, I haven't pulled up many cards. And here's the Six of Cups again. So this, for somebody, this is about somebody from the past. What they're afraid of is the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups reversed. Uh, your person looks like they're afraid here that you're going to, like, offer this cup to somebody. And they could be afraid here or kind of, you know, fearing here that... Once you take action, you know, to do this, or this simply could be you, that you're going to be unavailable to them, right? Yeah, you're going to be, the, that's what they're afraid of, I think, that you're just, you know, you're available. To, it's right here showing up. Four of Cups reversed, like, you're available to somebody else now. And the Six of Wands is their challenge with the High Priestess and the Tower. Their challenge is your victory with a secret, but your person might be Pisces or Scorpio, right? Because the Queen of Cups is here. This is their, uh, their, their challenge, right? Things are going to end, come crashing down because you're having a victory. So we're going to see in the extended. We're going to pull some oracles in the extended, guys. We have a full table here. Yeah, we are. Thank you so much for joining me. All the extendeds, we're going to find out all about your person, Aries, and the underlying energies and how they feel about you. Yeah. Yeah, they might not be feeling real good about you right now, Aries. All right. Yeah. Uh, they don't have that many swords, though. That's, that's good for them. <laughs> Uh, for you, too, I feel like, but uh, we're going to see how they're seeing the situation, what's most fundamental to them, and actions are going to take what they hide and their true intentions. I also feel like this has been going on. This is why your person is like, maybe they're not, they don't have so many swords here, but, uh, you know, they're not doing that well either. We're going to see, and I feel like I said, they're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We're also going to look at the future, yeah, between you and this person, for sure. Thank you so much, guys.